Hello friends, welcome to Insights I Can Initiative. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the weekly current issue. I think this is the fifth one in, as a part of the weekly current issues. If you did not, uh, you know, like know about the previous ones, you can get it from the playlist. In playlist, I added all these things. As some students even requested that the previous months, because we started this initiative in the month of July, they requested from the March. Okay, I will uh, try to do that backlog videos also in terms of the weekly current issues. Now, first we are going to discuss about list of contents in this video. In this video, we are going to discuss about seven topics. First, I'll give a brief idea and their respective subjects. Grand Cross of the Order of the Honor. This is related to the international relations. You know the students, our Prime Minister is in visit of the Greece. So, they are given this kind of order, I mean honor. Let's see what does this order of the honor means and why the Greece is important to India. Next, Lunar Polar Exploration Mission. It is related to science and technology. Both India's ISRO as well as the Japan's JAXA, we are planning to launch a common lunar mission onto the surface of moon. It is going to have only the lander as well as rover. We are going to discuss that. Next, Gone Painting. It is in terms of the culture. Our Prime Minister given the Gone Painting to the you know, like Brazilian President when he visited the BRICS. You know that recently BRICS meeting was happened where the BRICS was also expanded by including the six nations. Fourth one, foreign portfolio investment. It is related to in terms of economy, where recently SEBI requested that. So they are they are putting some proposals. How can we improve more number of NRIs as well as the overseas regions in investing the foreign portfolio investments? Here I will explain the difference between the foreign portfolio investment and FDA, foreign direct investment. Next, Fujiwara effect. It is related to geography where you know like if two cyclones are coming coming nearby that where you know like you will see the Fujiwara effect sometimes the smaller one will merge with the larger one sometimes they both are independent sometimes two larger cyclones also they get merged so that is related to the Fujiwara effect next Astra missile it is related to defense where recently the Astra missile launched from the light combat aircraft Tejas in this aspect we will discuss the relevance of this Astra missile to India Next, Project Amber. It is related to government policies where government want to give the skill training in cloud computing. Here, the government is in collaboration with some private agencies. We are going to see in which areas they are going to get trained and how they are going to improve the gender diversity through this Amber program and the full name of the Amber also we are going to see. First, Grand Cross of the Honor. This is related to Greece. Our Prime Minister visit in Greece, you know that. And in this context, we have to know why the Greece is very important to India. Actually, the relationship between the India and Greece way back to the Alexander time. Alexander is the one who invited India. Apart from that, Alexander teacher, you know, like Aristotle, Aristotle views also sometimes in align with the Indian views. For example, Aristotle proposed the golden mean. At the same way, Gautam Buddha also proposed the great middle path. In this way, we have some kind of similarities between the India and Greece. In the modern times, Greece is the very nearest European country to India and Greece is the member in the NATO as well as the, you know, like European Union. So, Greece holds much, much relevant to India. Apart from that, Greece is the world's largest country in terms of the merchant navy. And Indian investments is also there in Greece. Our Indian company GMR, they are building the airport in Greece. Apart from this, Greece is orally or very vocally, they are supporting India's membership in the UN Security Council and India's Kashmir issue. But the unfortunate thing is, for the last 40 years, there was no Prime Ministerial visit between the India and Greece. Because in both nations, Prime Minister is more powerful. Because both follows the parliamentary form of government. Only the presidential visit was there, but not the Prime Ministerial. So, this is a good sign between the two nations. Now, let's see. So, now let's see some of the facts regarding this particular order. Now tell me students. So, Greece given their second highest order to India. Second highest civilian award to Indian Prime Minister. Now tell me, who was the, who was the first recipient of the highest civilian award of India? That is Bharat Ratna. Who was the first recipient of the Bharat Ratna? Tell me. What is, an, what is the order, what is the honor given by the Greece to Indian Prime Minister? Grand Cross of the Order of Honor. It is the second highest civilian honor in Greece. Generally, it will be given to the eminent persons. It started in 1975. It carries the image of the goddess Athena. There, it writes that only the righteous 
should be the honored righteous means a person who knows the difference between the good and bad that means ethical person location of the greece if you look at here greece located in the eastern mediterranean sea it is having border with countries such as bulgaria north macedonia albania and turkey these are the land borders regarding greece is having ocean borders east of the greece it is having the asian sea south of the greece mediterranean sea and the western part of the greece it is having the border with the ionian sea and more than half of the greece is having the ocean border so there is no surprise that greece is having the world's largest merchant navy and the largest island of the greece is sea of crete i mean greece crete island where you will see the sea of crete it is the largest island of the greece this one we discussed in terms of geography now let's see capital athens history greece is a place where the civilization started according to the philosophers so we can call it as a cradle of western civilization that is the reason most of the western philosophers socrates aristotle they came from greek cities athens tell me students from which greek city aristotle came from aristotle came from which greek city now in terms of the at that time greece used to be city states same like indus valley civilization in the indus valley civilization we have harappa mohenjo-daro in the same way greece is also used to have city states such as athens sparta thebes and corinth greece got its independence from ottoman empire of turkey in 1821 like i said greek followed the parliamentary form of government where prime minister is the most powerful and the president is the nominal head people in greece they speak greek as well as the turkish language and the modern day olympics also started in greece in the year of 1896 ancient olympics also they used to held in greece only it was started in 776 bc this is the brief overview about the first topic second one it is related to snt this project name is lupex where both india's isro as well as the japan jaxa they are having collaboration in terms of the lander as well as the rover the main objective of this mission is to explore the availability of water and the feasibility of the feasibility of having a base research base on the moon surface okay how it is going to be there it is a joint venture between the two nations joint venture but it can be between two nations or it can be between two countries for example suzuki okay maruti suzuki between india and japan as well as the hero honda same india and japan initially even this rafael fighter jets also it used to be the joint venture the venture between the dassault aviation and hal hindustan aeronautic limited limited of course later we imported the ready made dassault fighter jets you know that rafael fighter jets ready made means without any manufacturing in india now lupex the name of this project name is lunar polar exploration mission which two countries are involving india and japan you know the students japan is actively promoted the malabar navy exercise as well as the quad tell me students which japan politician proposed the quad idea the idea of quad proposed by which japan politician and this lupex mission it is going to be launched in 2025 it is having objectives like i said earlier exploring the water availability and exploring the feasibility of having a base on the moon surface not only they are having this india and japan interest this mission is also having payloads from nasa as well as the european space agency this is about the second one third one gond painting it was given it was presented by indian prime minister to brics president when our indian prime minister attended the recent brics meeting tell me students what are the new countries added into the brics recently new members added into the brics now in terms of this gond painting we are going to see where the gonds are spread in generally and gonds are actually the adivasi community tribes are present in two two terrains tribes who are present in forest we call it call them as adivasis whereas tribes who are located on plain areas we can we can call them as a plain scheduled tribes in some states there are demands from adivasis that the tribes who are living in the plain areas they should they should not be given the reservations this kind of demand is much in ter- states like telangana now let's see further news regarding this gond painting during the brics meeting indian prime minister gifted the gond painting to the brazilian president lula da silva gonds generally they locate in the central india and in gond painting actually 
the this gond paintings feature gond's affinity towards the nature so that means obviously in their painting they depict nature a lot which includes trees animals mythological stories and all these things gond sai is one of the largest adivasi community i told you what i mean adivasi community this gond word came from kond which means green hill area and they generally present in the south of the vindhya mountains in terms of states they are mainly located in madhya pradesh maharashtra telangana ap bihar and odisha predominantly they speak gondi language next i'm going to explain you know, you know like fourth one fdi versus fpi fdi stands for foreign direct investment fpi stands for foreign portfolio investment fdi generally they are long term investments difficult to come to the nation difficult to go out of the nation these are the short term investment fdi generally we are the investor of that country for example you are from america you are investing in india here investor is having some active participation here in fpi simply you are involved you are investing in some stock market or some you know like financial instrument where your your participation is very passive in nature fdi this investment it can be the greenfield investment or brownfield investment greenfield investment means from zero they are establishing one company and they are investing their money best example kia motors or ikea company these are the greenfield sometimes they all they invest in already indian company by investing in some share or by buying more than 15 percentage of share that is a brownfield investment fpi fpi means foreign individuals or foreign small companies they'll invest in the indian stock market or indian financial instruments such as fixed deposit and all these things they are very short term in nature if they stop seeing profits in the indian stock market they pull their investment and they will invest that money in some other countries that is the reason fpi investment popularly known as butterfly investment why we are discussing this topic now recently sebi okay differences i already explained if you want to know about these differences just you can take the screenshot or else i will share these notes in the pdf drive it will be updated today either it either on the saturdays or sundays our google drive will be up, updated so this pdf will be included in the google drive sebi recently proposed certain you know like initiatives how can we improve the part more number of participation from overseas indians as well as nris in the foreign portfolio investment foreign portfolio investment like i said earlier individuals are very small companies investing in the financial instruments such as bonds stocks mutual funds derivative markets as well as the fixed deposits next generally they are quick uh, short term investment and they are looking for the quick profits who regulates fpis in india sebi regulates fpis in india not only fpi even the fdi also regulated by sebi in india in india we have two types of markets short term borrowing money markets long term borrowing capital markets money market regulated by rbi capital market regulated by sebi okay tell me students who is the sebi chairman who is that next advantages of fpi if you are seeing a quick profit in any stock markets you will invest that your money in that particular stock market and you will gain the profits especially when your country currency is very low value and there is some good demand for some other country currency you will invest your money in that particular stocks or particular stock markets fdi like i said earlier these are long term investment these are the cross border investment and this involves the active participation of the investor in india not only fdi helps in terms of economic point of view fdi also improves the economic integration between the two nations two nations can come close especially through fdis tell me students from which country we are getting the highest amount of the fdi investments okay fdi and F F fpi are differences i already explained in terms of fdi ownership foreign company or foreign individual high amount of the investments in india fpi they will invest in the financial assets and these are very short term in nature in fpi the technology transfer will not be there intellectual property rights transfer will not be there where in fdi you can have this kind of things fdi large amount of the money fpi or fii small amount of the money fdi generally who will involve major mnc companies or any venture capital funds they involve in the fdi whereas in the fpis foreign portfolio investment very small players will involve in the fpis 
next we are going to discuss about the one geographical phenomenon that is about the fujiwara effect fujiwara effect means what when two cyclones are very getting getting close there are different possibilities will happen three possibilities are there first possibility small cyclone will merge into the larger cyclone second possibility two cyclones will remain independent and third possibility these two large cyclones will merge each other that create very massive cyclone so this is the fujiwara effect recently such kind of fujiwara that means two cyclones they created a lot of damage in american coast where that was happened we are going to discuss and who was the first person to call this word fujiwara we will see powerful winds they damaged the area of the central and southern california which is towards the pacific ocean california shares border with the pacific ocean you know that fujiwara effect it is the word fujiwara called by japan meteorologist meteorologist sakuhi fujiwara there is a reason it is carrying his name for the first time it was observed in 1964 in pacific ocean for the first time it was pacific ocean of course japan is obviously the pacific ocean so there is a greater chance that this person observed this fujiwara effect in pacific ocean what is it already i explained when it occurs i explained whether it may be the two small cyclones or smaller and larger one and two larger one normally nowadays these days we are seeing this fujiwara's frequency a lot why because of the rising temperature due to global warming why global warming is happening because of the greenhouse effect why this greenhouse effect is happening because of the large amount of the fossil fuels next topic astra missile this astra missile mk2 version it is launched recently from the tejas light combat aircraft it is a one of the best example for the india's atmanirbhar because it is having the capability of air to air targets of course air to surface target also it can be do and the one which is, this is launched from this tejas light combat aircraft you know the speciality of the tejas light combat aircraft is tejas you can add the fuel refueling even it in the space also in the space the refueling can be done with respect to tejas tejas is not having any tail it is a tailless fighter jet light combat aircraft let's see astra missile it launched from the tejas near to the coast of goa this astra missile is air to air very very important air to air beyond the visual range even it it can target the supersonic targets also that means a target which is traveling with supersonic beyond the sound of the speed that can also targeted by astra missile who designed this astra missile designed by drdo as well as research center imarat they designed this astra missile it is the best example for atmanirbhar bharat key fact about the tejas tejas is the light smallest and tailless fighter jet and this can launch the targets in the range of air to air now this astra missile is air to air air to surface targets also can be launched as well as you know like it can it can launch the precision guided weapons also and it is having the air to air fueling capacity it can have the payload capacity of 4000 kg and its speed is mac 1.8 this is the specification of teja fighter jet next topic is about the project amber like you seeing here in the photo this is related to cloud computing now you are going to learn what is amber means and who are the participants in this program and what is the objective of this program that is more than enough for you amber amber stands for accelerated mission for better employment and retention amber stands for this amber project is an initiative of which ministry ministry of skill development and enterprise entrepreneurship who are the participants stakeholders they are national skill development corporation and generation india foundation and the amazon web services india private limited these are the players who involved in this project amber program what is the main objective the main objective is skilling improving the skill of the youth in cloud computing that is the main main objective of this so how much how many how many people they are going to be skilled the target target is going to be the 30000 youth out of them 50 percentage will be the women and this program is working under the larger project the large project name is sankalp 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 stands for we'll see here sankalp stands for you know like 
स्किल एक्विजिशन एंड नॉलेज अवेयरनेस फॉर लाइवलीहुड प्रमोशन संकल्प प्रोग्राम अंडर संकल्प प्रोग्राम दिस प्रोग्राम इज लॉन्चिंग एम्बर प्रोजेक्ट इन द एम्बर प्रोजेक्ट इवन द पर्सन हू आर गेटिंग ट्रेन दे आर गेट द सर्टिफिकेट आलसो क्लाउड्स कंप्यूटिंग ट्रेनिंग सर्टिफिकेट दे विल गेट सो दर एम्प्लॉयमेंट ऑपर्चुनिटी विल बी इंप्रूव एंड इट आलसो इंप्रूव द ह्यूमन रिसोर्स अवेलेबिलिटी इन इंडिया सो दट फॉरन कंपनीज कैन कम एंड इनवेस्ट इन इन अवर कंट्री दिस संकल्प प्रोग्राम लॉन्च इन ट्वेंटी एटीन विद द हेल्प ऑफ वर्ल्ड बैंक एंड अंडर द प्रोग्राम ऑफ नेशनल स्किल डेवलपमेंट मिशन इट इज ऑल अबाउट इंप्रूविंग द स्किल ऑफ द इंडियंस दैट इज अबाउट दिस संकल्प मिशन एंड एम्बर प्रोजेक्ट एस्टडीज वीडियो क्वेश्चन with reference to genetically modified mustard which of the following statement is right second statement it has the genes that allow the plant to cross pollination and hybridization it is the right one regarding the genetically modified mustard first statement it has the genes of a soil bacterium no gm mustard has been developed jointly by iari and punjab agriculture university no students it actually the delhi university that is the reason only the second statement is right now we will see today's questions first question with reference to greece consider the following statement read all the three statements and pick the right statement regarding the greece take the pause and try to answer these mcqs second question bidri wear recently seen in the news it is a form of metal handicraft form which one of the following state bidri wear is related to which state question related to culture next question third question a random forest technology which was recently seen in news is used for this technology is used for what tell me next question next question s400 air defense missile system recently is in news it was developed by which one of the following countries which country is developed next question minimum export price which was recently seen in news is imposed it is imposed on what minimum export price okay so this is the uh, these are the mcqs of today's uh, weekly current issues video and as we reach to this end of this video just we will revise how many topics we discussed in this weekly current issues seven topics we discussed and these topics are also from wide range of subjects this is the detailed analysis regarding the weekly current issues